couple. I, I just wanted to ask about the mental side of <coughs> Salah because <coughs> there's the outward actions which we learn from the textbooks, which are taught by people that take the time to teach us, or it's our parents or, or somebody who's dowered us, or whatever this scenario is. But there's the inner aspect of the Salah which is very difficult in terms of not thinking about the, my pin number and memorizing my oh you know shopping list and stuff. Mm. These distracting thoughts often come and people talk about them coming into the mind. Mm. So it's praying outwardly is okay. But inward devotion, concentration, like maybe inwardly the, the, the soul isn't facing the Qibla, the soul is facing the dunya, mm. but the body's facing sure. the Qibla. How do, we, how do we attack this shit? Very important point. And I think uh, on the basis of uh, the hadith from the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he says, as salatu mi'rajul mu'min. Mm -hmm. Salah is mi'raj. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's ascension of a believer. It raises me from one level to another. For me to be able to understand my Lord. That he deserves to be worshipped. It's not Jannah and Nara, paradise and hell. No. He deserves to be served. He, he deserves to be worshipped. So once I come to know that, then it will be uh, like Salah, it's not, it's not for Allah. Salah is for me. And not only just for me. In order for me to be a perfect being in terms of my Salah, I need to pray. Because otherwise, it will not help me. So, I need the way of akhlaq approach to this masala fiqhia. Uh, some scholars say, salah starts from the time when you, pray, you, you perform your wudu. Mm -hmm. When you wash your face to say, I'm cleaning my face in order for me to face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I should also clean my heart from envy, enmity, hasad, and so on and so forth. When I'm standing for Salah to say Allahu Akbar, it means that I say Allah is greater than anything else and I need to pay attention to that, not to pay attention to any other thing. Allahu Akbar, I pray to Allah, I'm facing towards Qibla, meaning that the whole dunya is back. It's only Allah who is in front of me. I'm, I'm, I don't pay attention to whatever is mm -hmm. surrounding me. Mm -hmm. It is Allah. Sami Allahu liman hamida. Oh, I start with Bismillah and Surah Al Fatiha and so on and so forth. I'm conversing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I understand what I'm doing, then nothing will be greater or bigger than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I will continue to pray. It will come to a point where I will say, I don't want to finish my salah.